Hello everyone, I'm here to talk to you about the DJI Pocket 2. What a great little thing to have in your filmmaker's kit. Now this isn't a review, this is going to be more of just, you know, footage and things and how I'm going to use it as a filmmaker. So this is a great little device, has a lot of different little modes in it. So we're going to go through some of the modes. This will be kind of a long video, so hang in there. You'll get to see a lot of different modes and maybe a little color grading um, as well or color correcting. So yeah stay tuned here we go I'm going up the hill here to Sugarloaf and uh, using my little pocket too here to film this so hang in there I'll show you some more go up this little hill this little ridge in continuous focus I hope this is working because uh, it's you know kind of hard to and automatic I don't have any you know auto settings that I want to set right now because I'm kind of like on the run here I don't have time to really pull over and set settings up so we're just kind of taking a little ride up to Sugarloaf here we get some areas where it gets sunny it'll adjust itself and uh, that's kind of what I like about the camera it kind of adjusts itself and we're going up this mountain quite a ways here might have a little pull out here let's pull out over here So this is Sugarloaf Ridge. Uh, I've got the camera set on the uh, pro section now, trying to get some cinematic shots with the uh, 60 frames at 4K. Um, ISO is 100. Um, just trying, you know, about plus 0.3 on exposure, but that's not bad. So again, this is the Pocket 2. Just getting some cinematic shots and see, and see, uh, cine like mode here. So, here's another shot here, it looks really nice. This is a minus 0.7 right now, but as I go towards the sun. And I'm not using any filters. There is some filters you can use with this that works really well. Um, if you're like going into the sun, it really does make a big difference to have those filters. Uh, it will really help with dousing it down so you don't overexpose. But there are some really pretty trees here I thought I would get. And just get that wonderful shot of the leaves falling in slow motion. Again, this is Sugarloaf Ridge. The part that didn't burn down actually is still very beautiful. Very beautiful. We'll see what this looks like when I get it home and uh, do some processing in post. This should be absolutely gorgeous. I would think it would be very beautiful. So. Yeah, I'd have to say the autofocus on this is really good as well. Um, I just push my little face in there and uh, <laughs> it just stays with me. Um, it seems to work really well. I'm really happy with the autofocus on this thing. Again, the Pocket 2 is something that uh, I think is good for vlogging. Uh, vlog and I keep looking at the monitor to make sure because uh, this is all new to me so I think it's a great uh, tool for you know your pack uh, to, just to bring it out with you whether you're working with big cameras small cameras this is something you can tell a story with you know talk to people about what you're doing and how you're doing it uh, just to go over more of the pocket too um, again the battery doesn't last very long it's about an hour and a half 
um, which is, you know, it's kind of okay, but then again, you can plug in USB, I believe. I've, I've kind of tested that. Um, I just want to talk to DJI more about that, but USB power source, I believe, will plug into this thing just fine and keep this thing powered up. I've actually powered it into USB, and the thing is charged while I'm shooting, so I don't see why you couldn't do a 5-volt USB into this. Um, right now I have it in follow mode. You can do all kinds of different modes, um, you know, and different things. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get some footage. There's a lot of things out there about how to use it, but the footage I want to see is just not there. So, um, so here's the Pocket 2. Let's take a little walk up the, up the way here. Um, I'm going to put it in auto mode just because there's a lot of different light here, and I don't feel like putting taking filters on and off. So auto mode is going to work good for me. Um, again, you won't get that motion blur, but, uh, you know, it works pretty darn good. So, let's try it. Now we're in auto mode, and we're just walking in the sunshine, out of the sunshine. Um, I kind of like it on the follow focus mode. It keeps the horizon nice and straight. Uh, it's the one that does keep the horizon. Um, it just seems to work really well. Now I'm walking with it very slowly trying to make that smooth footage um, and over here you can see this is kind of where the fire hit a little bit you can see some of those trees are down and it just looks pretty nasty it jumped through here pretty quick it looks like um, but yeah it hit pretty hard in this area so what a shame to have to go through that um, all those houses and people's lives so here we are into the sun, going in auto mode again. It does a really wonderful job of adjusting itself in auto mode. Now this does have a wide angle lens. You can just snap right on the front. Um, it does make a little bit of a difference. Not much, I don't find not much of a difference, but here I am. Okay, here I am looking at it at the wide angle. So let's see how that works. Uh, no wide angle. Oh, I lost a tree over there. I think I just see that. And then you put the wide angle back on, and then we've got that tree back. So there is a difference. I can see it definitely in the monitor, a difference between wide angle. Let's take another walk with the wide angle. This time we'll go up the hill. Now we have the wide angle on, and everything is on auto. We're still at 24K, or excuse me, we're still at 4K at 60P automatic um, again for you know if, if you're just walking around in and out of the sunlight again that automatic is going to really help I believe that will really help um, get those shots you need without having to think because you know again these monitors are really small so um, yeah so you may want to just do that for a while I mean again you're not going to get the motion blur but if you're just just filming um, you know and nothing's really moving too much I don't see the problem with it you get some nice sharp shots um, but again if you want those cinematic shots you're gonna want to put those filters on and when I get back home to the office here I'll show you the filters that I use uh, pro pro last uh, polar pro the filters I use are polar pro Okay, now we're in 24, 4K, 24P, so here we are, um, again, it's automatic, so I don't have to worry too much about the, uh, and I'll walk in 24P, and we'll get a little, probably a little bit of, uh, and then it's in continuous focus as well, I don't know if this is actually the mode you want to be in, you may want to be in, like, single focus, but I find single focus is probably more for those times where you just want to singly focus on one thing, you're not moving. Um, or you could be moving and singly focus on just on one thing. But this is going to continue to focus as you walk. It seems to be the best setting for me. So again, we're in auto and I'm just taking a walk up the road here to see what's up. And uh, you can see kind of how it works when I'm walking kind of briskly, kind of fast. Walking up into this little area where the creek is, and we'll see 
how that works out. That'll be nice to see the creek. And there's my big shadow right in the way. <laughs> but yeah, this is a beautiful creek up on Sugarloaf Ridge. Again, this is probably not the best setting for the creek because of the uh, thing. But we've got some pretty good slow motion on here as well. So let's go into slow motion at 60. Also has 240, but you have to do 1080p. I'm doing 4K today. And a 120 at 1080p which is really good it looks really well it looks a little soft at 240 i have to be honest with you um but I'm, i like my 60. it's pretty good again this is mostly vlog it's not really used as cinematic but you can use it as cinematic is what i like so let's go in on that little waterfall and get a 60 and show you what that looks like and this is at 60p it will have to slow this down and see what it looks like That's the little waterfall. So, let's get down back down there. And now I'm on some really rough terrain at 60 feet. Wide angle lens. Woo! 4K. Okay. Here we go, back to the car. So, there you have it. That's pretty much the modes I'm going to be using most of the time. Um, Again, this is automatic because I'm kind of just up and around, but you can change all that. Wow, that tree really broke up there. That's amazing. And he has a zoom feature as well. Okay, I slid the little device over now. It's on zoom. So now you can pick an area and uh, zoom in. So here's the zoom. And yeah, I'm at 60, 4K, and I'm zoomed in, and I'm walking, and we'll see how smooth this comes out. And I'm going to zoom back out as I'm walking. And there we have it. And we're going down the canyon now. Um, so here's the site. Um, we'll see, it's beautiful in here right now. I mean, there's a lot of things that aren't burnt. But down further, looks like that fire went right through. Ridge Mountain State Park. It's uh, been around for a while, but it did go through a fire just recently. And here you're going to start seeing some of the devastation of this fire. Um, again, it's burnt quite a bit of stuff. This was part of our big, huge fires. As you can see up there, there's a lot of stuff burnt, chopped down. Okay, I'm back in my yard now. So we did a little test. We drove up the uh, grove there, Sugarloaf Ridge. Uh, it's, a, it's a state park in California, in Northern California, just outside of Santa Rosa. So we went up there and uh, did a little shot here and there, and you've seen some, some of the results. We could talk a little bit more about the sound. Uh, this does come with an extension to the handle that actually has a remote that you can use with a little uh, wind noise reduction, like dead cat that goes on top and you can pin that to your lapel and uh, speak away. Um, that will be a direct shot to the Pocket 2. Uh, or it has the four speakers, one in the front, one in the back, one on each side, which uh, gives you kind of like a surround sound. You can actually change that and direct the sound forward, backwards, depends on if you want that surround sound or not, which I find is really cool. 
Um, and the sound's not too bad, actually, uh, just by itself without the, uh, without the little um, remote or the uh, wireless. So, uh, yeah, sound is great. Um, I find it uh, very useful just as it is. Um, it's fine, actually. Um, there are some little, little artifacts here and there with some of the sound. It's something's out way out in the distance. Uh, you, make, you, you can plug in a, uh, a lavalier to that little piece that clips onto your belt there. And a lavalier would go right into this hole here. Um, and then that would communicate, uh, you just threw that through your shirt and put it up on the lapel and then you're off and running. Uh, so that's the sound quality. The sound is pretty good as you can hear now. Um, but another thing uh, that we're talking about is the video quality. Uh, there's a high quality mode, which I find leaving myself in most of the time. Um, because it's just in the darker areas and when it gets dark or shady and stuff you can start seeing more noise so I'm using the high quality video you don't have to use pro mode you can use regular video mode um, which we can do right now so this is pro mode turned off um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell the difference too much I'll color grade some of that but I'll leave some of it uncolor graded so you can see the decenter like which is really flat um, so I'm gonna go to this is color mode so now I'm going to go to Decinelac and show you the difference. And this is Decinelac Pro Mode turned on. Again, I still have an automatic mode. The nice thing I do like about the automatic mode as well is that you can you can set your ISO max. So if you don't want to go over 800 ISO, you can set that as the max, uh, which is pretty handy. And sometimes that you just want to have that that just you know not too high, and you can do that with this, which is really great for the pocket too. I have to say this is a great little device for vloggers and and even uh, cinematographers that uh, people that don't have a lot of money and you want to try cinematography uh, you can try that with this camera so I dropped the frames on a 24 or in pro you don't have to you can do 60 like I was in the last one but this is decent uh, it's a great little spot to be if you want to color grade um, I always throw some Rec 709 footage or a LUT at it, and it just really helps it out with contrast and a little bit of color. Uh, so you're not having any color in this. It's just basic. Well, there is color, but it's really flat color. So, so here's Decenter like This is the flat mode. Uh, it takes the colors way down, so you can color grade or color correct. This is a great mode for if you want to try a little bit of cinematography on it or... You know, make a scene for a movie or something of that nature. You have a little more room to play with, more dynamic range. So that's decent like. Okay, now I have just regular out of the camera, deep pocket, the, uh, the pocket tooth. Excuse me, this is... <laughs> okay, now I have straight out of the camera video, no pro mode, everything's auto. Um, it seems to work pretty good for those times where you just don't want to mess with stuff and you really need to get those shots and you don't have time. Um, so as you can see, it's going to change as I walk around. Auto white balance, auto ISO, and you can set a max ISO on this. It's wonderful. So if you don't want to go over a certain ISO, you don't have to. Again, we're in video. Everything is automatic. And I'm just talking to the front and uh, front of the camera here and see what's, what it looks like. Now we're in video mode. Everything's automatic and the quality of video is on battery save mode. I'm not sure if you're going to see a difference in battery save mode right now. Um, only because it's pretty bright out here. I think that it has to be a little darker for you to see most of the noise. But this is, this is it. Battery saver mode. Now I have, done, I have noticed in the uh, quality video mode. This little camera gets pretty warm, but it uh, hasn't overheated. It hasn't done anything weird yet, but you want to make sure you get a good SD disk. I'm using SanDisk, which I know is resistant to a lot of heat. So uh, I would recommend SanDisk if you can. I'm using a 128 uh, gigabyte, and they have 256. This will go all the way to 256 gigs. This is a max on that card, though. And they're just having a sale right now on Best Buy, so you should get down there and get some. That's a great sale. You want the U3 uh, version, the fast version. Anyways, let's try another mode. Ah. 
Now we're in 24p automatic and beauty mode. Whatever that means. I don't think it helps me at all. Um, but if it does, please let me know. This is in beauty mode. Now we're back in regular video mode. Um, everything's automatic. We've got quality turned on. And uh, glamour is turned off. And I meant to say glamour mode, not beauty mode. But glamour mode. Let's turn glamour back on and see what it looks like. So here I am in regular video mode with glamour turned on. Whatever that means, glamour mode, I'm not sure. I've got pro mode turned back on. Everything's in automatic, 24p at 4k. And uh, again, we'll have to see how beautiful I really am. But I don't think it's gonna help, we'll see. All right, I'm back now. We've got beauty mode turned off, or they call it glamour mode, excuse me, glamour mode turned off so let's see what I look like now not so glamorous I'm sure so we'll see so I'm finding myself using quality video quite often um, it seems to take the noise away uh, most of the time here we are in 4k 24p um, everything's pretty much automatic all right this is 4k at 24p um, again everything's auto but I have quality video turned off I'm not sure if you're gonna see a difference in the quality of the video because it is pretty bright out here. I mean, the sun is going down, so you may see in the shadows some, may see in the shadows some um, speckles and noise, but I'm not sure. So this is kind of more of a test for all of us here. So this is non-quality mode. Again, everything's pretty much automatic. Um, finding myself again, like I said, using high quality, it does get a little warm. But uh, quality mode I find is very useful. Very little noise. It must have some sort of denoiser in the background or something. Denoising the video as, as it takes its video, I guess. I'm not sure. Anyways, it works pretty well. That's the mode I'm pretty much going to stand most of the time, especially at night. Um, I'll have to do some more tests during the day, uh, like this one here, and see what it looks like. So let me know what you think. Okay, again, we're at 24p. 4k and um, I had pro mode turned off the last one and this one so pro mode is turned off everything's automatic in video quality's turned back on uh, again this is the settings I like although I like decent alike um, but then I would want to go mostly with my you know 100 180 degree whirl with your shutter speed you know like that 24p you're gonna do you know 48 or 50 this one 50 or 60 you do 120 um, so those things I want to do um, with this when I do decent alike I also have some nice filters that you can use on this that will help uh, with those kind of modes but for just run and gun right now I'm just using the auto mode I don't see anything wrong with that again this is about story if you really want to look into oh my god that guy has no motion blur oh my god I can't watch this no motion blur what is up with that you can barely see the motion blur and that's if you look really hard and that's if you're someone like me or you um, but yeah you can do that motion blur with this camera which I love you can set all those settings in there and it works really well but yeah don't get too hung up on that again we're not doing cinema shots with this as much um, I have another camera to do that with we're doing vlogging um, stories or showing people things um, it's not going to be that big of a deal if there's not that much motion blur in your shot so again take it from someone that kind of goes crazy over those things and shouldn't be so again get those stories out and use the pocket too it's great it does stick in your pocket especially if you don't put the extension handle it's a wonderful thing okay we're in automatic mode it's a non-pro mode and we've got a wide angle on we've got um, quality off so probably see some green maybe about now we're about going into uh, golden hour so anyways there's that full automatic mode quality mode is on now again we're at golden hour so you can kind of get an idea maybe what's going on. That. 
wide angle lens and uh, yeah okay quality video on decentralite pro mode on with decentralite um, and then we have I believe ISO 400 okay according to this is perfect exposure at ISO 100 pro mode is on decentralite we have quality video turned on um, so you're going to get some of the motion blur that you expect out of this setting here. So let me turn some stuff here and walk around and see. I'll get some motion blur that's a little bit more used to. This is 24 frames a second again at 4K. Um, again, the quality is is on. So this should be a really, I mean, I don't think I'd have to denoise this too much. We may have to, but I doubt it. So let's turn the quality off. and. Uh, I think we can let's take a look and see what it looks like with the quality off okay this is in battery save mode again same settings uh, 4k 24p pro mode uh, 180 degree rule we have the uh, 40 uh, 50 because they don't have a 48 so we do 50 and then it's at uh, 100 i believe iso 100 um, so yeah there is an airplane that just flew down really low over my head there but other than that everything is cool and it uh, you can see uh, what's going on hopefully uh, there's not a lot of noise but there probably is going to be some noise I'm, I'm imagining this time okay back in quality mode so back in decent like 24p again 100 ISO Pro is on, quality is on. We're in control of our ISO, we're in control of our shutter speeds. So again, we're gonna get the motion blur that's more cinematic. It's not gonna change when I go into this dark area here. It's going to remain dark. And it probably is gonna have a hard time tracking me. If I turn back into there, it should not. So, there we have it. The center light. That's the difference. It's not going to change, you know. It's not going to go up and down, do all this weird stuff. You're in control of all your things. Okay, it's starting to get pretty dark out here again. We're in quality mode. Um, just doing a shot of the garden. Quality mode. Pro mode. With ISO 200, we stayed at 180. So we stay at 180 and we just keep going. Uh, we're at minus 0 0.07, so it was minus 0 0.7. And we're not quite perfectly exposed. As we come up, it starts to zero out there almost. But yeah. Okay, up the ISO to 400. And it's saying we're plus 0 0.7 now. So it's pretty close to being perfectly exposed. Just a little on the bright side, but I don't think it's overexposed. Um, and it's getting pretty dark. Quality mode again. So I think quality mode is the best mode for me, and I think most people should use it. Unless you're running low on batteries, you really need something in an event. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of noise, especially at night. So quality mode, and if you can stay in pro mode and control your ISO, your shutter speed, it, uh, it's going to be more cinematic. But, you know, again, if you can't fumble around and do stuff, it's good in auto mode. Uh, again, this is Decentralite 24P. Quality mode with Pro on, 180 degrees, which is 50s right now for us. And it does a great job stabilizing your shots. And as you can see, you can get really low and easily lightweight. It's just a wonderful tool to have with you. All right, that's it for now. Do some night shots. Okay, this is pretty close to blue hour, and it's saying I'm perfectly exposed, although I have 1600 ISO, 24p, 4K, 
quality video pro mode on and um, so again this is becoming pretty dark out here it's just as the sun went down just after the sun went down I mean and my face is pretty much towards where the sun is set so now we'll take off quality mode and now you should probably for sure see the noise okay same setting 1600 ISO you should see a lot of noise now in the background where it's dark um, again I'm facing the same direction 24p 4k pro mode um, it's in manual of course I have control um, but again we're in a battery save mode which is non quality mode so like I said I think this thing has some sort of um, denoiser now if I put a light on my face which we'll talk about later some little light that I love um, we'll go into lighting more with these little devices and how we c you can light yourself at night like this and still get good quality video um, so you need some sort of light source um, to do that um, there's a lot of good battery small battery operated but before you buy one you might want to wait for my next video which I'm probably going to do very shortly about a neat little light that you might want to check out so anyways this is again non quality mode and you're going to see a lot of noise okay we're back in quality mode I think you can see the moon back there behind me which is kind of cool quality mode now again uh, and uh, you know it's going to have a hard time tracking your face too if you don't have a little light source so now I should look a lot more clear um, I may go ahead and denoise this just a little bit but I'll probably just no actually I'm just going to leave it the way it is so you guys can see because it is easy to denoise and make it look real clear I already know that um, but I might show you that on the next this one coming up next here um, so I'll turn it around and we'll do noise this is quality mode at uh, 1600 ISO 24p and uh, we're looking in manual mode 180 degree whirl 50 shutter speed now I put it in auto mode and it's adjusted it to 25 shutter speed um, and I'm basically at 1600 max which is the max at 24p 4k so it's done its own adjustment there um, and it looks kind of you know like you can see it is blue hour now and if I spin it around here you should be able to see my face a little bit more um, but it's hard to focus on my face because it's having a you know being dark and not a lot of contrast there there's the moon behind me um, I'm gonna zoom in there so you can see that there it is the moon Ooh, the moon so watch out I'll turn into a werewolf at any moment anyways anyways you get an idea of that thing now when I put that light on myself watch out so we'll probably talk about lighting again later and I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great one